In today's Shopify tutorial, we'll be looking at setting up automatic discounts. Once you're logged into your Shopify admin, head on over to Discounts in the left-hand navigation. From there, click on the Create Discount button in the top right. You'll then see two options. We've got Discount Code here, and that is essentially a promo code that people will have to manually enter into your checkout in order to get the discount. And then we have automatic discounts, which is what we'll be covering today. And that would be a discount that's automatically applied to the customer's cart. Now, please note here, it does say that customers can't combine discounts at checkout. So that means if they have an automatic discount applied to their cart, they cannot enter a promo code in addition to that automatic discount. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Simply click on the automatic discount option. And from there, you'll need to enter a title for your discount. Do note that customers will be able to see this name. It's not an internal name, so you'll just need to keep that in mind. Next, you'll need to click on the type of discount. So we will cover all three in this tutorial, starting with the percentage option. So we'll leave percentage selected for now. Next, we will enter the value or the percentage off. Next, under the Applies To section, we have the option to apply the discount to all products, specific collections, or specific products. So if you'd like, you could select collections, for example, and then search through your collections. So let's say we're running a sale only on the t-shirts in our store. We can certainly select that and click on Add. And next we have minimum requirements. So let's say people have to spend $100 in order to get that 60% off. We would simply enter $100 in this field here. Alternatively, you can select the minimum quantity of items. So let's say you have to buy two t-shirts in order to get that deal. You can certainly do that. And please note over on the right hand side, as we make our changes, Shopify begins to list the details of our automatic discount. Last but not least, we can select the active dates. So let's say we have a sale starting on a particular date. We can certainly choose that date as well as the time. And we can also set an end date. So as you can see here, we've set up a percentage discount, 60% off our t-shirts collection, minimum purchase of two items, and the sale is on from April 15th to April 19th. So there you have it, an example of an automatic percentage discount in Shopify. Next, we will cover the fixed amount. And with a fixed amount, it's just a dollar value. And let's say we want people to have $10 off, and this time I'm going to change it to all products. So for this example, I'm going to say that people are going to receive $10 off no matter what they purchase, so any product, but only when they spend $100 before tax. So again, if you look over on the right-hand side, we have the summary here. So we have $10 off on all products, minimum purchase of $100, and that sale is April 15th to 19th. Last but not least, we will cover the buy X, get Y type of a discount. And a classic example of this type of discount would be the buy one, get one scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a discount where people can buy one shirt and get the second shirt free. So we're gonna say customer buys minimum quantity of items. So we'll say one for the quantity because they have to buy one shirt and we'll change it to specific collections and grab the t-shirt collection. So far, we're saying that the customer needs to buy one shirt in order to get another shirt. So we'll put one for the quantity again, and we will change it to collections and search for our shirts collection.
So customer buys one shirt and the customer gets one shirt. We could leave the discount value at percentage, meaning the customer could buy one shirt and get the second shirt for let's say 50% off. But I did want to give that second shirt for free. Now you'll notice here that we have a set a maximum number of uses per order. And if we click on that, we can enter how many times the customer can use this discount. So we're gonna go ahead and say only once. Otherwise they could buy multiple shirts and get multiple free shirts. And let's say we don't want an end date. We only want it to start on the 15th and it will essentially run until we come back in here and turn it off. So again, let's check out the summary. We've got buy one item, which is a shirt, get a second shirt for free, and you can only use it one time per order. We've got the start date as April 15th. And just like I pointed out at the beginning of this tutorial, the discounts cannot be combined with other discounts. So if someone has an automatic discount applied to their cart, they cannot manually enter a promo code and get two discounts on the one order. So once you're happy with your discount settings, go ahead and click on save discount. And then you'll see here that the spring savings discount was created successfully. If you found this Shopify tutorial helpful, do subscribe to the Easter Kings YouTube channel. We will be creating more Shopify videos and e-commerce tutorials.